On the night of the news arrival, Nijikata san held a meeting in the late, late hours of the night. I waited outside of the meeting room patiently. Yukimura kun, kaigi ga owarimashita yo. Oh, thank you for everything you do, Shimada. Today has been a rough day on everyone. All of you must be hungry. I am planning on bringing Hijikata san something to eat. Yeah, now I'll just leave it alone. What makes you say that? In the meeting, Hijikata san has been able to get rid of the attention and get rid of the attention. Now I'll just leave it alone. Were that your intention? Were that your intention? Shimada exhaled an enormous sigh, and he bowed before walking away with a slumped head. For Shimada to be in such a dour mood must mean that whatever they discussed in there was truly serious. Imagining the possibilities made my palms sweat. It can't be that bad. I'm used to being scolded. I raised my head high and I stood in front of his room. Hijikata-san, I'm coming in. As I let myself into his room, I saw something that stopped me dead in my tracks. Hmm? Hijikata-san wasn't sitting in his usual spot. Instead, he was sitting on the floor with a grave expression. I'm sorry. I uh, heard your meeting ended. If you'd like even just a nip of something to eat, I can bring you something soon. What do you say? Until he was irritable. Although whatever was discussed in their meeting was left for the meeting room, I could tell those heavy thoughts still swirled in his mind. I asked him, Can I do anything for you? Ichikata san, what the fuck is going on up upstairs? Ichikata san, is there anything I can do for you? Please let me know. It could be anything. その手のセリフももう何度聞いたかわからねえな。今は本当に何もねえよ。やつ当たりみたいな真似してすまなかったな。お前がここに来た時は人の気も知らねえでと思ったもんだが今はお前がいてくれてよかったと思ったよ本当だ片さんお前はその目でずっと俺を見てきた今日にいる時からずっとだ今思えば みっともねえ姿もずいぶん見られた気がするが皮肉なもんだなそのおかげで忘れずにいられるんだからよ。あ、remember what？背負うものの重みだよ。あいつらが俺に託していったもの全部だ。がむしゃらに走るだけなら俺一人の方がずっと手っ取り早いだがお前がいると突っ走る前に歯止めがかかるのだお主みてえなもんだなてめえの命をかけることに迷いはねえただかける場所を間違っちゃいけねえそう思う
My heart fluttered warmly in my chest. Then, if my life's purpose is to be there for you, then nothing could make me happier. As a woman, this was really all I could ask for. I could only imagine everything he's been through as he walked the path of a warrior. So for Hichikata-san to recognize me as someone who made the difference for him, I couldn't help but smile. Well, compared to the trouble you have to deal with, it's nothing. I won't let this bring me down. I am an Edo woman after all. Ichikata-san left the window still, and he slowly walked towards me. Chizuru, できれば、お前が作ったものがいい。うん。何でもいいから持ってこい。ただし、うまいものを頼む。お前の手料理に新選組の命運がかかってると思え。All at once, his face became warmly familiar to me. It was as if the realization of our connection hit me suddenly, and I couldn't help but grin madly. Hey! With the threat of war looming in the horizon, I could sense that Hijikata-san's mind would struggle to find itself at ease in the coming days. But even then, I took solace knowing I could give him just one moment of reprieve before whatever was to come. For now, this was all I could really offer him. I decided to give him all as I was preparing his meal. It was the least I could do to make him happy. Oh no, sad music. It was mid-March, as I was starting to welcome their late spring. As we had long anticipated, the Imperial Army's naval fleet had finally arrived in Edo. Oh boy. Allegedly, mm. allegedly, their ships were going to dock in Miyako Bay, and the news of their arrival spread quickly. The Republic of Ezo did not have the full c capabilities of countering an impressive naval fleet, so the leaders gathered quickly to plan defensive strategies. Ichigata san was a key member of these discussions. I, on the other hand, was ordered to remain in Goryokaku. Goryokaku. So all I could do was wait patiently and pray for his safe return. After what seemed like hours of waiting. Hijikata-san! Everyone! <sighs> I'm so glad to see you all safe. I wasn't sure what got a hold of me, but as soon as I caught sight of Hijikata-san and his men, I was overwhelmed with emotion and began sobbing uncontrollably. Hijikata-san's lips curled into a war smile, but he stood tall beside me with a warm greeting. Wait. Yeah, oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, oh god, oh god! Before I ke became too excited, I realized someone was missing, and I scanned around to see where he could be. <laughs> uh, where's Nomura? Suddenly, everyone's expressions dropped. My heart dropped like a stone into my stomach. No. Don't say it. I saw Soma furiously bite into his lip. Nomura wa... ...nakunarimashita. Our boy! He's gone! 
真っ先に敵艦に切り込んでいったのですが撤退が間に合わず An altogether completely different emotion washed over me, and this time the tears were justified. How many more times did we have to hear news like this, left to fend against the unbearable pain of loss? This was the first time since arriving in Ezo that we had to surrender ourselves to the news of another lost comrade, and my vision went blank for a second. はずっと近藤局長をお守りできなかったことを悔いていましたあの世に行った時恥じることなく局長にお会いしたいと口癖のように言っていましたお前が野村野村彼は本望だったと思います立派な最後でした。The strategy to overtake the fleet was a failed one. One of our ships was lost in the ensuing conflict, and from what they told me, so was the life of one of the great captains tasked with leading us to victory. To safety. To a place where Hokodate would be a distant memory. He wanted me to survive, but he intended to die. You can convince me all you want, but I won't budge. I want to stay with you. It warmed my heart to know that he cared for me, but I couldn't leave him alone to die. I wouldn't. In the near future, if I were to receive word of his passing in a place far, far away, I would sooner die beside him here. Please, don't send me away. I want to be here with you. My thoughts went back to the three months I was separated from Hijikata san. I felt incomplete. It was as if I struggled to feel whole. I couldn't eat, sleep, or even breathe normally. If I were to be torn away from him again, I don't think my heart could bear to see another day. I won't ever leave you again. He furrowed his brows in worry, staring back at me silently for a moment, and then he finally let out a sigh. So. 本当に物好きなやつだなお前は I initially read his sigh as a resignation but it seemed that Hijikata-san was keen on sensing how I was feeling I could see his mind working hard as his eyes flickered back and forth in minuscule amounts You're worried about me, right? Well, if you're worried about me, then don't let me out of your sight, okay? It'll be your job to keep me safe. I smiled at him. I guess he didn't expect that from me, and his eyebrows rose in surprise. And you can't do that if you're dead, can you? So you survive to protect me. I thought about that for several seconds. Anshinshiro, Ore to Onno o Saki ni shinaseru kiwa nae yo. 
He wasn't quite willing to commit to the rest, it seemed. But I was happy that he would admit to wanting to live, if only a little. <laughs> 